Hey, this is Callum and welcome to the Online Prosperity Show. In this episode, I'm going to talk to you about young entrepreneurship and how to use the online world to your advantage. Now, welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity TV Show. And today we've got none other than Callum. Callum, how are you doing, man? I'm great, man. How are you? Very well, thanks. <laughs> No. Awesome. Viewers, Callum is only 17 years old and he got into entrepreneurship at the age of 15 where he was just reading everything that he just learned. And when he was 16, he started his first business, the online clothing brand. He did this for about four months after only, had, after only having made $48, but he did not stop there. He now runs a couple of multiple um, Instagram accounts and a few Facebook groups where I met him and he caught my attention. Callum, thank you so much for being on the show today. Great to be here, man. Great stuff. All right, so you started at 15. No disrespect. Yep. At 15, when I was in Africa, I couldn't write my own name or I couldn't spell. <laughs> how, did, how did that all start up? Tell me about that journey. Man, man, it was hard. Like... None of my parents are involved in entrepreneurship at all. So I don't know where I picked it up from. It must have been a Facebook group I was in or a YouTube video, but something just got me hooked. And honestly, I've been on the game for the past few years now and just can't stop. Like, it's just a lifestyle now. It's like DNA. (laughs) (laughs) So so there's obviously no college in, 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 in sight for you, right? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. Great. Okay. So you started with your own clothing brand, the one that you're wearing right now, Hustler. Tell yep. us a little bit about it. What, what happened? Where did you start? How did you go? So I came up with this idea in August of last year, 2016. And I'd actually been procrastinating on this idea for a few months. So I'd always wanted to start my clothing brand. I had the vision of myself going to uh, college and wearing my own brand, seeing other people wearing it. Obviously, There was a lot of failures. It didn't turn out exactly as I planned, but I persevered. I spent hundreds in ads. And as you mentioned, I made $48 in profit after the about five months. So I guess you could class that as a failure or success. I guess it was profitable, but I've recently closed that brand and I'm looking to focus elsewhere. When you started your brand, how did you start? Did you go out and seek customers first and found out what they wanted? Or did you just have an idea and you went with it? I sort of just went with the idea. I mean, I know a lot of people sort of sit on an idea for a long time. And I feel like I could have done some more market research initially. I maybe went into the market way too quickly. But I just wanted to get it out there, see what people thought of it. And just represent the brand really great okay so okay at 15 and now you're 17 what really motivates you and what do you really want to aspire to i have some pretty ambitious goals i mean i like to be a millionaire by 22 um that's my main goal pretty much so basically i don't know if i want to go to college or uni whatever you want to call it but Ultimately, I want to be the one providing the jobs out of college to the people that are leaving. I want to be the on top, just helping other people. And the only way to really get there is through business and entrepreneurship, which I don't think many young kids realize as it's not promoted much in schools, which I'm currently in. And honestly, there's nothing to do with business really going on. So. All right. So if you're not getting the support from school and if you're not getting the support from those around you, how are you managing to stay on top of things and actually be on shows like this? Because yeah, yeah. I've taken notice of you. I think it's a mix of finding people that you aspire to. So I have some pretty big people like Tony Robbins and then some other people like Colin Nye. He was a mentor of mine. He's in, he owns his own um, Facebook group. Then there's like Brandon Stevens, who I watch on this show. He teaches me a lot. And I think it's just a matter of finding people that are ahead of you and modeling their success. And there's also, yeah, there's Facebook groups, there's YouTube, there's books. 
anything really you can get your hands on to find about find out about more um, entrepreneurship so don't you find that that whenever you go out and um you know people may just look at your age and be like oh come on kid go to school or something like that how do you go past that i try not to mention the age much but i've actually helped a few clients run their instagram accounts before and i've mentioned my age and they were quite amazed by it to be honest because they see a young kid who's doing quite well in terms of social media and business. And they sort of see me as an expert in that, in that area. And they just want to get me on board to help them with their social media growth and the growing of their brand. One other thing is how do you keep up then? Cause obviously school and society still expects you yeah. to grow up at school and also you showing up with being your business. How do you have the, work school balance <laughs> i wake up early and go to bed late i think right. that's that's it <laughs> okay and um obviously people your age right now are probably sitting in the underwear watching or playing yeah games. how how do you view people your age that don't want to do stuff i think it's quite hard because currently in this position i'm in it's the best time in life I mean, right now, I've got no bills to pay, no mortgage. I can just take massive risk, start businesses, do whatever I want, really, and not have the financial worry. So seeing people in my, also my age, not really utilizing that to their advantage can be quite annoying for me. Like, I've tried to motivate my friends before, but they don't really see what I'm doing. They sort of mock it, they laugh. And finding people like, like me, sort of, interested in entrepreneurship at my age is also quite difficult great stuff you know i'm learning quite a lot of things from you like i told you earlier that when i started mm. um, i mean when uh, when i was your age i could not even spell my own name okay yeah yeah and you've got all these audacious goals and you've got all these uh visions are you getting any support from family or people around you not really to be honest i mean my main support is coming from people i've met online so in facebook groups youtube as i said my family they don't really understand much about what i'm doing i mean i'm sure they support me but ultimately they still have that sort of go to school get a job mindset so i'm just trying to break that in a way okay so does that also motivate you because you now want to prove them wrong that you know they you, you don't want to be playing football but you want to be playing um you know you want to be on snapchat connecting with other like-minded individuals yeah definitely i mean i don't think they really understand the full potential of social media and what it's playing in today's society so they sort of see me on my phone just messing around on facebook but really i'm talking to people i'm posting to my own group I'm gaining more followers, potential new leads, customers, and it's actually just really beneficial to me. Great. So at, at the moment, what actually frustrates you about your business right now? Well, currently I don't have a business. I mean, as I said, I recently sold this one, but I'm coming up with new ideas constantly. Uh, it's actually exam period for school right now. So, you know, I'm quite tight, going to bed late, getting work done. Uh, I plan on going hard in the summer to be honest, new business idea, executing and getting to work really. Good stuff. So if somebody your age is watching and they really want to go in and start this whole entrepreneurial thing, what sort of advice would you give them? Learn lots before you start. Um, there's plenty of free courses, stuff on YouTube. As I said, there's books. Pretty much learn everything you need in that niche and focus on one thing. I mean, I have the problem of chasing the next shiny thing. I think I sort of, I look at something I can sort of gravitate towards it. And I feel like I need to focus on one thing rather than everything. So I think that's one thing that I do wrong, which other people should not. So find something you're passionate about, which can also be profitable and just go all in on that. Uh, learn it inside out and then just begin really great okay so if somebody has sort of come to you and asked for advice on how you started or how to start what's the one thing that you would tell them probably just begin because I mean I know that just sounds quite broad but ultimately it's sort of a learn as you go process I mean when I started my business I didn't know an awful lot about it I just sort of 
I started, I paid for stuff. I just sort of went in, I learned as I went. And ultimately I think that's the best way rather than just trying to learn something and not really applying that knowledge to useful stuff. Great stuff. Well, this has been fantastic. And, yeah. um, you know, you, 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 you showed up and you told us exactly, you know, what you went through and how you accomplished all of that. Now, maybe somebody's watching this and would want to get in touch with you. How can they get a, a hold of your group? Uh, I own a Facebook group called Digital Empire. So you can also join that and I'll accept you and I'll get in touch. You can also follow me on Instagram at Young Hustler uh, without the E. Great stuff. I'm going to put all the um, uh, links at the bottom there. And awesome. if you've been watching this and you're also interested in starting your own digital enterprise, I've got 20 steps that we've created that will help you start, scale, and grow your own digital marketing agency. So we'll put the links at the bottom there for you as well. Column. It's been a pleasure and thank you so much, my man. I know it's a bit late you way too, man. right now. <laughs> no worries. Thank you so much. It's been great. All right. Right. Till next time. And thank you so much for tuning in. Um, hopefully, we'll catch you up on the next episode. All right.